I don't know how to explain it. I don't be wanting that. I don't be wanting too much attention on my booty. I got a real ambition for this cash. Yo, 13 years old with a shoot box stash. Yo, I'm always up for something. Never sitting on my ass. off a little bit late um, because I've been filming this uh, sponsorship all day but we about to head out I don't want to take too long because I know y'all be like uh-uh girl let's grab uh -uh, grab grab let's get into the vlog so anyway let me cut this light off I'm gonna show you guys what we're wearing and then we gonna head out y'all so I'm gonna start with the boots guys we have on these Steven boots these boots are these boots are made for walking from Nordstrom's um I purchased these about a week ago about a week ago but anyway <laughs> these uh pants are from Bellevue Village they were three dollars this belt uh is from Shein it was three dollars this jacket was gifted to me from Jay's Jeans I'm gonna make sure that I link her store below um you guys can head over to Instagram and look at some of her fabulous pieces and then guys it's really super in fact let me do this oh and by the way guys i kind of y'all know we put the bombshell spin on the jacket so it's not a crop jacket but i just kind of maneuvered it so it would have that crop appearance and then i wanted to show you guys this really sexy bodysuit so guys this bodysuit is from a local store here it's called um trend mall girl it took me forever so trend mall um so this is where this um this bodysuit is from um guys y'all like my new hair y'all like it it's pretty so guys the hair is from uh janota hair in fact i had to film a sponsorship from for them today for the purse i'm gonna be wearing this gorgeous teddy blake bag guys i absolutely love this bag all right y'all so we are on our way to Saks off fifth uh i want to try on these boots guys they had they had a like a really really good sale um i think i got these boots for like 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 one a little bit over a hundred dollars and they are three hundred dollars on the bcbg website but i want to actually go to the store and try them on I was going to try to, I think what I might try to do is also make it over here to this uh, UPS store because I'm going to take this hair dryer back so we can actually get a hair dryer that we can sit under. And this, I mean, this, this hair dryer is, it's just the base model, uh, meaning like you got to push the button real hard for the hood to stay up. And it's just like, I don't feel like. I'm gonna get a lot of I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it I just feel like in about six months I'm gonna be replacing it and so I'm like no nah, let me just get something that I know is gonna last but anyway so let's do a mental oh oh I hope my boob is showing hold on girl wait a minute okay they not <laughs> they not showing so let's do a mental health check-in let me turn the camera this way so guys i'm feeling very i don't know not uncertain today i feel very positive because you know you know we have sponsorships and stuff coming in but we're gonna be hitting 10,000 subscribers 
I'm talking about it's gonna happen very very soon and I don't know I guess I'm just nervous or whatever um I don't know I just feel I'm just feeling like I don't know just that same kind of it's not a fear but I can't explain it I guess just that same type of thing like when I hit 10,000 subscribers is anyone gonna be there to like celebrate with me um I gonna am I gonna be by myself and I, you know I'm just feeling like that so I'm actually feeling scared I'm feeling like oh my god it's happening so fast it's making me feel like I kind of like wanted to slow down a little bit but it's happening really really fast so I guess I just feel nervous about that um and then I don't know I woke up uh, this morning just kind of feeling like you know like I am very focused on my career but I don't I'm human and it's like I do have times where I'm just like is it always just gonna be me you know what I'm saying like I'm content for the most part but that is a question that I have like is it always just gonna be me like you know am I gonna eventually meet somebody like am I gonna I don't I don't think I'm gonna have a baby like biologically but like you know will I ever have like I don't know like a kid or I don't really know how to explain it because I don't because biologically I don't you know I don't have any intentions on giving birth to a baby but I just still feel like you know I do have my family and people that I love but will I ever have my own family you know like you know a partner or you know a significant other you know and I don't know I just think about those things from time to time but I've been thinking about that a lot lately but it's it's tough because I still deal with you know anxiety and, and abandonment issues and you know my past experiences and my abandonment issues that kind of stops me from wanting to like commit you know what I'm saying and so I don't I think that's I think that's something that um, you know that I've been thinking about and, and going through lately so yeah I just wanted to share that or whatever so that's what's been on my mind but I have missed um, you know vlogging and stuff on a daily and uploading on a daily or whatever but um, you know we gonna work something out where I'll be uploading more frequently because you guys really y'all tuned in y'all showed up and y'all showed out and you guys really 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 loved that pbamu homecoming uh video that video is the my highest ranking video of rocktober so thank you guys so much for that but yeah girl so i'm just you know in one of those very uh cerebri cerebral i think that's how is that is that how you see it cerebral moods like i'm just in a very deep thought mood but anyway i think uh we're about to pass up the ups store so what i'm about to do i'm about to go drop this <laughs> i'm about to go drop this hair dryer off to them and then uh we will head towards our destination so i'm gonna call y'all right back all right y'all i just decided to make a quick stop at the beauty supply since it's on our way to um it's on our way to what am i trying to say here it's on our way to our destination anyway so let me get this so guys i'm gonna try this hold on oh girl let me see so i'm gonna try this even lace holding gel now i already bought this and accidentally threw it away girl so i'm gonna get this and then I think I'm gonna get some more of this and girl they need like a they need like a basket to put this stuff in I think what I'm gonna do is just start putting putting some of this stuff up here on the uh, on, on the thing right quick and then I want to get some more of that ISO plus um uh, hairspray since we know since we know it work Ooh! nothing with a big bottle of it girl okay let's see i think this is the all sheen hairspray i don't know let me see hold on all right it's the actual all day holding spray so we getting this 
and then I need to get some stocking caps. Oh, excuse me. All right, y'all. So we are now finished at the beauty supply and we're on our way to our destination. I wanted to I wanted to cook tonight too, so we probably will do a little, you know, do a little cooking. I ain't want to really eat out, but I'm getting kind of hungry and I need me, I need me a snack. Girl, we didn't stop that Chick-fil-A. I didn't stop that Chick-fil-A for a darn kids meal. Y'all, why is the kids meal six dollars? Oh my God, that's so expensive. Oh goodness, let me stop complaining because baby, I'm starving. So I keep coming back to my, <laughs> I keep coming back telling y'all we are on the way to the destination. But anyway, the next time I come back, we gonna actually be there. But anyway, y'all, another thing that's on my mind is like, girl, the tragic death of takeoff from the Migos. Girl, so sad so 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 sad so sad life is so short and just the fact of like you know he wasn't even in the mix and it's just like even more you know it's just like just the way that he 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 had to pass I just I feel so sad about that and then the fact that it happened in Houston is just it's just awful so that's definitely been on my mind and it just shows you like how life is so short and it's just like while you on this earth y'all just chase y'all dreams you know what i'm saying because it does make you realize you know how short life is and so i'm always gonna encourage you guys and motivate you guys to chase your dreams and um you know make the sacrifices where they need to be made but more importantly chase your dreams because you just never know when you know you just never know when it's when it's your time or whatever so that's definitely been something on my mind and i just i just ask for god to have mercy you know on his on his family and uh you know i pay for i pray for peace and you know you know just peace and that god covers his family because i know that this is got to be devastating because it was just so unexpected so yeah but um i'm gonna call you guys back when we get to the store all right y'all so i found some really cute things y'all look at these guys look at these look how cute these are the color it's the color for me it's that mint green for me these are cute but um I don't know about that heel, so I did not see the boots that I was looking for uh, that I wanted to try on. It, you know, honestly, it does not matter at this point because they're already ordered. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder, but we didn't already order the boots, so it really don't matter. I just wanted to try them on, but they should be. Um, we'll get them tomorrow, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna be honest, like. I hate I really hate that I have to start all over like with shoes and boots and because it, it what happens is it makes it look like I'm shopping a lot I'm really not because I mean shit we lost everything you know but um, I, I feel like I had the perfect the perfectly balanced wardrobe you know what I'm saying like I had jackets shoes I had a lot of stuff and so now having to come out and replace it you know it's not always it's not always so fun you know people probably think like oh you get the shop but it, it's really not because some of that stuff can never be replaced so anyway um what i did promise myself this time around is that i would buy higher you know like better quality shoes you know what i'm saying because you know you can always get um you know purses and stuff like that you know i, I I do like nice bags, but you know, of course, I'm not in a position to buy bags that's really, really expensive. Um, but 
I do want to have a nicer collection of shoes. These are beautiful. And so um, I am investing just a little bit more into my shoes, into my shoe collection. And, uh, you know, slowly what we'll do is, you know, work on the bags. Now, I'm not like a big, big time designer bag girl. I like company. I like I like designers like Rebecca Minkoff. I love Kirk Geiger. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Um, I love Valentino. I would love to have a Valentino bag. And I would love to have a Versace bag. But those are the brands. I think I like them because they have very reasonable prices. And then, you know, they're kind of on the line of that that Chanel, you know, the quilted bag with the chain, girl. Baby, one thing about me, I love me a quilted bag with the chain. You hear me? These are cute. Let's see how much are these. Um, these are $60. These are cute. Oh, y'all, these cute. Which, oh, Valentino. We were just talking about Valentino. Uh-uh, girl. Not somebody, it looked like somebody didn't already wore the shoe. But those are, those are cute. And then let me show y'all this other shoe that I love. But girl, this shoe, y'all, why this shoe costs $400? Somebody explain to me why this shoe costs $400. And then I love these. I absolutely love these. Girl, look at that heel. It's the heel for me. And so I said that we were going to normalize wearing white after Labor Day. So these are gorgeous. I can do a lot with these. So we gonna see. Um, but honestly, I was here for the boots. That's what I came here for. Oh, girl, y'all, look at these. Look at these. Ooh, baby, so sexy. All right, let me let me finish looking around. Y'all, this is the most comfortable stiletto. Oh my God guys this is so comfortable i feel like i could probably run 10 miles in these oh and they not they they're not as high as they look but they are super super comfortable all right guys these are super cute and these are actually under a hundred dollars y'all look at these look at these these are so sexy oh my god let me zoom in oh I love these guys we could really baby I could do a lot with these all right y'all they're gonna be closing in 10 minutes but that's okay because the um, I think they have an additional in fact I know they have an additional 25% off sale online and I do not think that they're running that in the store so what I think I might get are those uh, black stiletto uh, black stiletto patent leather heels that we saw and I might get the ones have a good night And I might get the ones that were white with the silver tip because those were baby them was cold-blooded Cold-blooded What is the five fingers? Say to the face! <laughs> Slap! Uh, so the white ones with the silver tip those were uh, made by Saks Fifth Avenue and we're gonna get a nine in those. And then if we get the BC, if we get the BCBG um, shoes, we need to get a nine in those as well. Girl, y'all, I be telling y'all all the time, baby, I got daddy feet. Y'all got baby feet, I got daddy feet. So I can't just always trust online is going to, uh, you know, that I'm gonna be able to fit stuff online or whatever. So girl, sometimes with these feet, I gotta come into the stores now with clothes. That's a different story. I can get a size six or a size eight all day online. You know, sometimes even a four, and I know that it's gonna fit, but, um, oh Lord. Okay, well, All right. We're going home, cause Dilla, she just, a lady just told me that they closed at eight, so. Oh, okay, a professional shopper, baby. She let me know. All right, guys, I hope that you are ready for episode three of Who Sunk Me These? So guys, I would like to thank Antoinette. Antoinette sent me this very thoughtful gift card. So this is a Amazon gift card. Antoinette, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Let me see, what are we gonna buy with this? I'm gonna probably buy some more wig caps and uh, 
But no, seriously, I'm probably going to use this gift card to buy these uh, black, they're like these black uh, storage boxes. And I'm probably gonna get those because I wanna organize the um, credenza with the perfume and stuff in it. So that's probably what I'll use a gift card for. Again, Antoinette, thank you so much. Hey guys, so this next gift is from Kenya. Kenya is the owner and founder of Snake Eye Collection. Guys, look. So she sent me, she sent me so many lashes, y'all look. And I love the fact that um, you know, she put the names on the lashes. So this lash is called Dramatic. Let me show y'all. So this is a Dramatic Lash Allure. So pretty. The name of this lash is Elisa. So gorgeous. And y'all, her packaging, she's so professional. I love how she packages everything. She also sent this beautiful pen. And guys, this is actually a liquid eyeliner. So she sent me this. <laughs> and then she also sent this really nice uh, eyebrow pencil. I love how I love how each lash has its own name. So we have Rachel S, we have Flawless, and then I want to say the last one is Jasmine. But, but guys, look, look at those gorgeous lashes. I love this. Wait, there's more. So she sunk me. Y'all look at this eyelash glue. And baby, I use this eyelash glue today. When I tell you it can't stop and it won't stop, I absolutely love it because I just applied one coat to the lash and I actually put the lash on immediately and it stuck to my lid immediately. So I love that. And then she sunk over, sunk over these luscious lip glosses. Look at this. Look at this, baby. I love it. Look at that color. It's so pretty. I love this. More importantly, y'all look at the look at the packaging. Look at the detail. Look at the attention to detail. Look at the packaging. I love it. She is so professional. Make sure that you head over and show her some love because she took care of a head bombshell, honey. So now we're gonna have our lashes where we look like a little baby, a little baby doll. She moved out of state, and shit don't want left, she's seeking forgiveness. She used to dance, but she want alone, she started a business. Her daddy is not around, her mama is not around. I watch her climb to the top of the pole, and then get sliding down. I make it rain in this bitch, I make it snow in this bitch. She trying to get out of the mix. Shawty is going legit, Shawty is going legit. Me, I'm supporting this shit. It's a story, came from my life, and I'm supporting this shit. I'ma just give it to you, the rest is better me throwing this shit You know you important this shit, you know I'm supporting this shit We used to do pornos when you would come over, but now you got morals and shit I got like four on the wrist, and a normal kid I got a Drake in the studio, and I don't trust me that I'm in this bitch Please make the most of this shit, don't just come close to some shit I give you this bread, you rub me some head, and then you go blow up a bit She moved out of state, shit done went left, she's seeking forgiveness she used to dance, but she went alone and started for business. Her daddy is not around, her mama is not around. I watch her climb to the top of the pole, the niggas. All right. So y'all, we about to go run some errands. I needed to show y'all these boots. I got another pair of those uh, boots similar to the white ones or the cream ones I wore earlier in the vlog. So let me show y'all these. So I just got these in the brown. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Too cute, girl. Too freaking cute. Love them. Um, I did not vlog yesterday because, y'all, I don't be doing stuff every day. And then some days, I'm a, believe it or not, believe it or not, I have days where I don't feel like talking. I know that's a surprise. I know it is. But I do have days where I just don't feel like talking. And uh, yesterday was one of those days. And it wasn't anything wrong. I just... You know, and then two, I'm, oh, one more thing. Y'all, I was up willing and freaking dealing till like four o'clock in the morning. 
So, um, a lot of times, like a lot of these vendors that, uh, that I've been working with are in China and they're on a completely different time schedule. So a lot of times when y'all are, you know, doing deals and stuff, like when you wake up in the morning, you'll have emails, but me, I'm a, I'm a night aisle. And so girl, I had been, um, like with me, one thing about me, I'm gonna go back and forth with you in negotiations. I don't give a damn. I don't care if you send me what I actually thought I wanted. I'm going to always ask for more money. So, baby, me and these companies, baby, we be up willing and dealing. I know one company, girl, y'all, we was going back and forth for about three hours. And finally, we agreed on a price. And so, when I do that, unfortunately, girl, I don't be going to bed until like 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. And then I'm extremely exhausted the next day. And it makes me, you know, not really want to pick up the camera. But anyway, y'all, let me show y'all the outfit and we got to go get in the car because we got some things to do y'all so i have on these really uh really cute 70s inspired jeans i purchased these jeans from ross for 21 dollars. i have on this really cute belt i think i wore this belt the other day uh yeah i wore this belt the other day uh she in got this bodysuit super cute one shoulder uh well one one sleeve bodysuit Really cute strappy heels y'all they are so comfortable and then I just have on my River Island white and gold bag so 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 cute all right y'all so this is the makeup look um I just did something really light and pretty I just uh you know wanted to look cute today because like I said I had been in the house all day yesterday or whatever so yeah girl let me um I don't know y'all I'm thinking I'm thinking if I should put on some, this is fine, girl. I was thinking about putting on some lighter color lipstick, but girl, it's fine. We gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna see y'all when we get in the car. We're gonna go get our nails done tomorrow, y'all. I'm really thinking about switching over to, um, I'm really thinking about switching over to press on nails because I don't know. But then I guess it won't really matter because I still gotta get my feet done. You know what I'm saying? So I was just thinking about that. Um, and then I want to do a little update real quick update. So guys, I, a few, a few, a few vlogs ago, I asked you guys for your opinion regarding me starting to do personal styling. And, uh, you guys had some amazing advice. You guys were kind of saying like, you know, make people sign contracts and, you know, so on and so forth. And then I received a very impactful message from one of you gorgeous, beautiful bombshells. And the message was just saying like, basically keep con continue to create content specifically and directly for the platform. And she was saying that she truly believes that at some point I will be able to lend a brand deal with a major company in terms of just like fashion and stuff and it's crazy that she said that because i was actually thinking that too so guys i have decided that i would stay exclusive and um just committed to the platform uh the bombshells and we'll just keep our styling specifically for you know for our uh community and and and, and i came to that con conclusion because guys when i first started vlogging and i first really really started to get into cinematography you know, I was so, I'm so passionate about cinematography and I was just always looking for content and I would go out to the club and I would film a lot of club scenes and I would try to promote myself, you know, to come out to the club and, you know, just do the cinematography for them and do the editing and stuff. And it was just so challenging. And then it's like, when I got away from filming those club scenes and I just started focusing 100% on just me and blogging and just trying to grow the platform shit went crazy it's like me getting out of the club and and getting out of that lit club thing when i stopped doing content like that and stopped trying to go out and build my production business that's when the, that's when my channel took off and so i don't think that this is going to be any different from that and so i'm going to stay like i said committed true and um you know just continue to create authentic great content and we'll just be inspired here that's just what we're gonna do but right now what we're doing is headed to the thrift store because guys it's supposed to be getting cold in houston and i'm looking for some um 
some trench coats and stuff like that even though i did buy uh i did purchase a trench coat but it was more like for styling you know more like you can wear it don't get me wrong i can wear the trench coat but it was more like to be styled on uh more of a fashion level it wasn't uh you know it's not a trench coat it's really meant to keep you warm it's just it's just really meant to you know create a really really high fashion look and so now i'm searching for a trench coat that we can wear on top of like nice dresses um nice pants slacks stuff like that um so when we go out to dinner we go out on dates um you know we're going out on the town and doing you know a lot more things we can have a coat for that and then i'm looking for something that may be a little bit more uh comfortable like a really nice waist puffer which i had one but y'all know it burned up in the fire so i wanted to find a really nice puffer jacket but what i think i'm gonna do for the puffer jacket because i'm looking for something very specific um i'm probably just gonna go on asos and if i don't get it from asos i'll get it from like uh Burlington or or Nordstrom's or something like that. All right, guys, I literally just walked in. Y'all look, baby, look. I didn't found a vintage Dooney and Burr, guys. This is only fifteen dollars. So I mean, I would have to do some do some stuff to it or whatever. But I don't know. We we might get it. So we're gonna start off in the. Um, we're gonna start off like in the Goodwill Boutique and this is kind of where they have the nicer, the nicer stuff or whatever. So let's see what they have over here. All right, so these are cute, um, but I don't, I don't like the pockets. I think, I don't know guys, like when I was heavier, I just felt like really weird. Cause y'all, my booty was so freaking big. Oh my God, I had a huge booty when I was heavy, like that was, I would get so much attention and I hated it. I didn't want anything showing my booty. And so I don't know, I still, I know it's weird, but I kind of still, um, I'm a little bit shy about that type of stuff. And so I don't like jeans, like look, I don't like jeans with designs on them because they put too much emphasis on my booty. <laughs> So anyway, uh, but those those are those would have been cute. See, look, I don't like that. But but y'all, I'ma tell y'all this though. I did um I did have a couple of pair of True Religions, but I didn't buy any True Religion jeans until I lost weight. Okay, and so I had lost weight, and I had gotten uh before I got my BBL and everything. So I did have some true religion jeans now, but that was before the BBL. Now that I've had a BBL, actually I've had two rounds um, of a BBL or whatever. I probably would not, I don't know. It just depends on how the jeans fit. How, how to, um, cause girl, the true religion jeans, they used, they, be, they used to make my booty look really big um, before the BBL or whatever. And now I'm thinking like, shit baby that thing i probably really gonna be sitting up now don't get me wrong i do want my booty to like look good i just don't want people i don't know i don't know how to explain it i don't be wanting that i don't be wanting too much attention on my booty but you know people gonna look you know what i'm saying all right y'all so this is obviously the trench coat again um it's not quite that big this is more uh, for styling and a fashion look. But y'all know I was looking for something, you know, for warmth. But I'm going to be honest, I do like the details. So I do like how the shoulder flap comes out. I do like how this lapel is shorter than this lapel. So I do like the abstract look of the jacket. So I think I'm going to, even though, again, it is just a fashion look, um, I think I'm going to get it because we don't get super cold winters in Houston. I could still rock this with a super sexy dress and still look fabulous and still have it open. So I think we're gonna go with this one. All right, y'all. So the next look is this really cute super crop jacket. I love this. Um, it's more of a vintage look. So you're gonna have the super exaggerated shoulder pads. Um, I do like how cropped it is. I don't like it that it does not fasten, but that's okay. We're gonna probably style this with those cream uh boots that we have and probably a really cute pair of jeans i'm gonna figure it out later when we get home 
all right guys so uh this is a cute pair of page jeans i've never owned a pair of page jeans i do know that they sell these at macy's and i want to say they run for about 40 to 60 dollars i'm not sure all right y'all editing rochelle here <laughs> i just came in really quick to let you guys know that page jeans actually retail for over 200 dollars. i know i think i said they were like 39 dollars but guys, they retail for over $200. So. But they're super cute. I like how they fit. This is a size eight. Um, They are cropped. But y'all, we gonna be wearing these with long boots. All right, another pair of page jeans, super cute. I absolutely love these. Guys, these don't have any distressing on them. They're like a medium blue. They fit super cute. They're a mid-rise jean. Um, I'm sorry if y'all can see my underwear. <laughs> Y'all know I be I be wearing underwear under all my bodysuits. So sorry if you guys can see those. But y'all get the point. Now, I do like these because they don't have as much gapping in the back. In fact, the back almost fits completely flat. I love these. And then they make your booty look really cute. Not really little. It's not that I want my booty to look little. I just, I don't know. I just don't be wanting to, uh, I don't know, y'all. It's... I don't be want too, too much attention on my booty. But anyway, I love these. They fit really cute. And I like them because they make my thighs, they make my thighs look a little slim too. All right, guys. So I absolutely love these slacks. I'm absolutely getting these. But guys, this is a size 16. I just finessed the waistline. Y'all know how I like to do. So I did finesse the waistline and make it more pleated on the waist and then I kind of just pulled all of the tabs over. I'm probably going to re-sew the tabs after I clean these and everything. Um, it did come with this double belt and I just tied it into a knot. Guys, these are so chic and so sophisticated. Um, these, if you can't tell, they're navy blue pinstripe. They are so, 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 so chic. And so we're probably going to keep it super simple with this look. We're probably just going to do maybe a navy blue top or maybe even white. And uh, then, you know, just something really clean and simple because we absolutely want to, you know, um, emphasize the waistline on these. All right, guys, I found these super cute patent leather pants, but I don't think I'm going to get them. They have like a little bit of peeling like on the booty. And, uh, you know, I don't want to buy something that's already you know kind of damage a little bit but they fit super cute but we're gonna have to actually leave these here all right y'all so the total of everything came out to 72 dollars but y'all look this is what i hate about wearing jeans with white so i was thinking because this bag is patent leather that i wouldn't have this problem but i just see like i'm just not gonna be able to wear denim jeans with white and that's just the bottom line yeah so all right girl so we're supposed to be having like a really bad oh shit look at my hair it's supposed to be like a really bad cold run coming through i wanted to run by sephora and get some stuff but i could always order that stuff online and in too like i don't know i just i honestly just want a um Coco Naughty, Rihanna Coco Naughty. That's really what I want. But I guess I can wait on that. I just honestly, guys, I have not found. That is the only, uh, that's the only product that I found that really, really contours my nose, just snatches the nose, honey. We are looking for non dairy creamer. And then I wanted to find, oh girl, it be me looking in this during viewfinder. I wish, um, I wish Sony came up with a way where the viewfinder is not so distracting, you know? But anyway, so we're looking for some uh, non-dairy creamer. Some non-dairy creamer and I wanted to find like some like more healthy snacks other than cucumbers and olives because y'all <laughs> i cannot help myself but anyway so where is the non-dairy creamer oh okay i see some all right i see some oh but it looked like okay so it's it's this brand 
so this is hazelnut and I might need to just get it like that uh, let's see girl I guess everybody drinking coffee cuz honey the options are limited okay so we're gonna have to get the HEB brand because I do need to so we're gonna get the HEB HEB brand French vanilla and then I need to get some I need to get some lemonade and I need to get some other yes yeah, so let's see let's find the lemonade and then we're gonna go we need to go to Trader Joe's after this so yeah baby it be it be the people looking at you crazy in public while you vlogging but you know what it's never like it's never like the millennials you know what i'm saying it's always people it's always people like in my age and older i think it's just because it's just something weird to them and you know so i appreciate the millennials and um the gen z's so shout out to the millennials and the gen z's for not judging me when y'all see me in public with my camera but um I'm trying to think if we gonna cook something tonight because let me say this baby one thing about me ooh, <laughs> that's okay <laughs> one thing about me I'm gonna tell y'all we gonna cook something and then we don't cook nothing baby I'm infamous for that okay so am I the only one that be eating off the paper plates because I don't be wanting to dirty up no dishes y'all y'all let me know in the comment section <laughs> if I'm the only one that do that because baby one thing about me i'm gonna get some paper plates because i don't be wanna um i don't be wanna dirty nothing up in the house you know <laughs> y'all so i got rained out all right so y'all probably wondering <laughs> why am i sitting in the kitchen well i'm sitting in the kitchen because i had to teach myself how to use this dishwasher guys i have not used a dishwasher in over 20 years because i typically hand wash all of my dishes oh, so anyway um i am washing those uh trench coats so i had a trench coat i had bought from that same goodwill then of course we purchased the trench coat uh today so i'm washing and i'm also drying some stuff um i need to put this hair dryer together but not tonight i just don't feel like it I wish I could like call y'all on a conference call and uh <laughs> and be like what y'all want to see but anyway y'all so this was y'all one of the bombshells had sent me uh, a little video clip that I had did when um, we were at the hotel before we found our um, before we found the apartment and it was a clip of me showing you guys how i act when i really like a guy and um it was kind of segueing off of me saying telling y'all like you know like i when i meet guys a lot of times i meet guys and they have a, a really you know a pretty big interest in me and i see i'll see value in those guys but i won't want a relationship with them and so i want them around but i don't want to be with them so i got this way that i talk to guys 
that I don't want to be with. Like, I want you in my life. I want you to be my friend. But I don't want any romantic relationship. So, I'm going to be honest, y'all. I be talking like a thug, girl. Like, when they call, I be like, what up, folk? And then they be like, what you doing tonight? She about to turn some corners. She about to get some rims. She about to, you know. So, I talk like real, real, you know, hood like that or whatever. <laughs> and typically, it works. And then they'll be like, she, she hard. You know, she look good, but she, she too hard. And so, but when I like a guy, I'm a lot more feminine and soft and sweet and nice and all of that kind of stuff. But I don't know because maybe I'm a Capricorn. I don't know, guys, but I don't really, um, I really don't meet guys that I like very often. It is. It is not often that I meet someone and I'm like, I don't really like this guy. It, it just doesn't happen often. But anyway, so I'm going to insert the clip of how I act when I like a dude. Zara so okay it looks good girl I just realized whoever was the owner the rightful owner of this uh, gorgeous jacket baby they didn't cut the darn shoulder pads out sis how you cut the shoulder pads out of a jacket come on all right Ooh, and then I need to uh, undo that okay so we're gonna let these air dry yeah, we're going to let these air dry and then we're going to steam them tomorrow morning. Ooh, baby, it's the fashion girl for me. Okay, let's do this one. All right. Yep. Okay. All right. All right, y'all, and I didn't get a chance to show y'all these, but we also bought these uh, high waist, high waisted old navy jeans. But girl, let me tell y'all, girl, they had so many pairs of these. So I don't know if old navy is like donating, not donating, but like, okay, I guess it is donating, um, donating their clothes or whatever, um, to the Goodwill. But girl, it was so many pairs of those uh, Old Navy high-waisted jeans in a size 8. But what I also noticed is that they cut all the tags off of them. But girl, they had like rows and rows of them. So, um, I'm going to wash the jeans that I wore today. I kind of wish that the jeans I wore today, I would have bought them in a size 9. But that's okay. I got them in a 7, girl. I'm trying to squeeze squeeze hold on so let me wash these oh girl y'all i hope this vlog is long enough and i hope y'all can hear me because baby we in this noisy washroom it has been a long day 
I am really hoping that this vlog is long enough because I do want to give you guys, you know, a pretty good vlog being that um, the last thing I posted was a hair video. But, but, I, I, <laughs> I wanted to talk about, y'all already, y'all always know I get into my very deep, evolved, profound Capricorn mode. And something that's, you know, that I've been thinking about lately is y'all ever heard of that saying like you teach people how to treat you. And while I know that that's true, y'all know that that's true. You do understand it's another side to that. And this is what I mean by you teach people how to treat you. When you meet people and you're trying to build relationship with them, whether it be uh, romantic, uh, friendships, partnerships, business, whatever it is, you're just trying to get into relationship with them. And you go, out, not really go out of your way, but you kind of compromise your comfort zone, meaning you reach out to them, right? So you're reaching out, you're texting, and you're doing things that you wouldn't normally do because, again, you might see value in this person. Well, then you realize that this person is not responsive. They're not texting you back. Um, they are fickle. Are they, you know, they text back sometimes and sometimes they don't. That's the other side of teaching people how to treat you. And so I was thinking, like, you are essentially teaching me to not contact you. You are essentially treating, teaching me that you potentially could be um, something, you know, you might be remnants of my past where I've had, I can, I can, cause now I can see things, right? You know what I'm saying? So I can see things a little bit more clearly now. And I can now see when I'm about to enter into a, you know, a uh, relationship, friendship, partnership, business ship that has uh, some of the same things that I've dealt with in my past. And so when I'm seeing that you're not, uh, again, reciprocating the energy I'm reciprocating or things are still, I already see the signs of one-sidedness. You've taught me that I'm not going to waste any time to try to get to know you or try to uh, build with you or try to spend time with you or try to partner with you on certain things. And guys, this is across the board. This is in business. Um, you know, I've had companies reach out to me and it takes them, you know, I respond back and it takes them days, sometimes weeks to respond back. I don't do business with those companies because it feels too much like my past. It feels too much like, okay, yet again, this is about to be a situation where I'm giving, 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 um, and I'm not getting anything back. And I just, I will not do business with companies like that. I, I don't give a, I don't care how attractive the offer is because even if you offer me something, uh, a very attractive offer, I don't know, a thousand dollars, um, and it's for an eight minute deal. That's very attractive. But I also look at the way that you do things because how you do one thing is how you do everything. And so in business, if you email me and you want to partner with me, I respond back and then I do not hear from you for three or four weeks out. I am going to immediately assume that you are not, uh, you don't have your, you, you don't have your, uh, you're just not a, you're not put together. You don't have your business dealings put together and more than likely you're going to be like that when it's time to render payment and so I'm like I don't think I want to move forward with this company it shouldn't have taken you three weeks to respond back to me if especially because you contacted me for partnership I'm that same way when it comes to dating I don't text guys and I don't call guys initially when I meet them now, for me, what I'll do is if we have, you know, we're trying to get to know each other and I text you or you text me and it takes you a very, very long time to respond. Um, it depended on if we talk that day and if you kind of say, oh, you know, it's been a busy day. That's understandable. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to give you about one, two good times to uh, if like if, for example, if I call you. And you don't answer the phone 
and I don't hear from you until a day or two later. I'm never going to call you again because you've taught me that it, it, it's it's probably you're not going to you're not very responsive. So you've taught me that. And then also for me, it doesn't feel safe. I like things that feel safe and reciprocity is a very safe feeling for me. Think about it like somebody. They're already teaching you how to treat them, meaning like. If you meet someone or you get into partnership with someone professionally and you text them, they don't respond. Uh, you know, it takes them days and weeks to respond or it takes them hours and hours to respond. You've hung out with them before. You've gone on dates with them before and you see the phone in their hand. And this is the beginning of a partnership. Why, how do you think that friendship, relationship, business ship is going to go? How do you think? Because that's how I, I look at things. To me, I always look at things like, okay, this is an indication of things to come. People love to be like, oh, you have to teach people how to treat you. But you treat, you, you're teaching me how to treat you. You know, you're teaching me to not text you. You're teaching me to not call you. You're teaching me to not make plans with you. You're teaching me that you're not a good business partner because you are not very responsive when it comes to follow up and, and, and emailing and stuff like that. And so if you lack in that area of your life, what other areas are you going to lack in in this friendship, relationship, partnership? If you tell me that you hate when you reach out to people, you call people, they don't respond back, they don't answer the phone, whatever it is. You tell me that you don't like that and that's not acceptable, but then you turn around and you do that to me. Well, if it's not acceptable to you, why would it be acceptable to me? It's like you're not about to you're not China and I'm not dog food. It's not okay for people to do that shit to you, but then you think you're going to turn around and do the shit to me. I guess I just wanted to say that because I, I've noticed a lot of people do shit like that. It's like they teaching you how to treat them. And then when you fall off and you fall back and you don't reach out and they don't hear from you, it's just like, oh, damn, you know what happened? Nothing. You know, nothing. Shit. I, I see. I see the writing on the wall. I see the writing on the wall very early on and I'm just pretty much done with friendships, relationships, partnerships, and businesships where I'm giving and giving and giving and I'm not getting anything back in return. Anyway, I just wanted to open up a dialogue and have a thought provoking conversation um, so that we can evaluate the other side of teaching people how to treat you. You guys weigh in and you let me know if someone has ever taught you how to treat them and the treatment that you give them is simply you decided not to fuck with them no more. This cash, yo. 13 years old with a shoebox stash, yo. I'm always up to something, never sitting on my call the fire department.